Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Timothy Roy and this is Timothy Roy Walks. So today's video, it's a night and morning. We're in the city of Corner Brook. It's a big town, little city. Um, and we're staying in a hotel. I'll put the name of the hotel on the screen now. I'm just gonna give you guys a little look at the hotel room. And then we'll do a little walk of downtown I was gonna say Toronto, <laughs> downtown Corner Brook. Um, we'll walk around a little bit tonight and a little bit tomorrow morning. All right. Oh. So as soon as you come in through the door, you have this nice bench here, big wide open area, beautiful, uh, beautiful photos. This is the washroom area here. Quite a big washroom area. That's me. Heated floors. You can feel it as soon as you get in. Nice big beautiful walk-in shower. Over here we have a bar, you can grab some stuff if you want it. The bar I don't believe is free, it's usually not free. Very nice uh, drawers and cupboards here. You have a safe if you want to use the safe. And then coffee, which I believe the coffee is free. And you have Gross Morn Coffee Roaster. Come in here, some hooks for jackets. I like the, uh, the old style phone. It works. We have some plugins, USB ports. Couple bathrobes, big king size bed, alarm clock, and some more plugins here, which is great. Over this way, we have a little seating area, a couple chairs, table. There's me again, full size mirror. And you have a little, com I was gonna say computer desk, but a little desk with, I believe it's a 55 inch flat screen and then some more little snacks. And the price of everything is there as well. So this is the, uh, the hotel, Hue and Draw. And this will give you some information and stuff like that. Best place to find information for this hotel is of course online. Um, I'll try and leave in the comments below or in the uh, down below uh, a link to this hotel. It is a very beautiful hotel. And uh, yeah, so that's the hotel. I'll show you the view. And after this we will walk around. We'll walk around a bit tonight and a little bit tomorrow morning. And this is the view here. We have the trees starting to turn. And over there. Alright, one thing with the with the room. There's no way to actual lower the blinds. No matter how hard you pull on it. I've used both hands as well. The only way you can do it is to pull it down like that, which I don't think is the proper way. <laughs> but yeah, if there's someone out there on the rooftop patio, you don't really have any privacy. That's the, that's the only downside right now, I see. Hey guys, welcome back. So we didn't record anything last night. It's now morning. Uh, we will be going out and doing a walk of the town. Uh, I wanted to show you the view from here, but as you can see, the screen is down. We cannot 
for the life of us, bring it back up. We thought it might have been an auto. We thought it might have been some buttons or a remote. There's nothing. We tried using this. This do not do anything. But I'm gonna haul it up just to give you guys a bit of the view. It's a beautiful morning. Just wish you guys could see it a little bit better, <laughs> see me a little bit better. Um, however, we will be going out and we will be doing uh, a walk around downtown Corner Brook. Hey guys, I am heavily backlit, but we just checked out the hotel. Um, and now we're gonna do a little walk of downtown Corner Brook. Not sure how well you can see over there. But there is a, a gas station, KFC, and a pizza place that we went to last night. Here we have a little art studio. So it's 11 a.m. right now. Uh, check out was at 11 a.m. Um, and it is quite warm. Feels around 20 degrees, I believe. We have a tattoo shop. Hair studios. Coffee shop right here. <laughs> and we have Cycle Solutions, a uh, bike store. Just in right here. Icebreaker, Marina Wool. If any of you guys know me, you know I like my icebreaker. It's fantastic for traveling. Lightweight. You can wear it a lot more times without having to wash it. And it's pretty much all I wear for travel. Uh, socks, shorts, and uh, and shirts. Pants I usually uh, switch it up a little bit. As I said in the past, um, Corner Brook, called the city of Corner Brook, it's actually a town, I believe around 20,000 people. To my left is the Corner Brook City Hall. To my right here is Bank of Montreal. So something that most people don't know, I actually worked at this location, this Bank of Montreal. When I was doing marketing, I had a co-op program and my co-op was at this location. After the co-op program, I, uh, I stayed on for a little while as a bank teller. Little story about Tim. And just in the middle there, the square, they have a little memorial.
it's a couple ways we can go we are this is pretty much the end over right here we are gonna head this way show you a little bit more downtown it is a small area so uh, we'll cover a majority of it in this video Another shot of City Hall. So I did live in this uh, in Corner Brook for a while. I believe I've lived here for five, six years. Um, back in the early 2000s before I moved to Toronto in 2006 I believe and we're walking downhill this is a little valley here Looks like we are on Main Street. We have a few, uh, few places over there. Looks like a uh, billiards, lounge, a few other places. more gas stations let's just quickly show you to the right here we won't walk down this way but I don't know if you can see in the distance there and there is the uh, pulp and paper mill And that would be what's considered the, uh, I guess the heart of Corner Brook, the main industry that uh, brought everything here.
gas prices for any of you guys wondering. Self service is one fifty four. I believe that's uh, quite a bit more expensive than in Ontario or Toronto. And we have a little, not sure if this is the brook of Corner Brook, maybe. Across the street there, a little sign, Corner Brook Stream Trail. So there is a little little hiking trail. We won't be going on it though. Oh, I see something just down right there. Mary Brown's chicken and taters. Mary Brown's was popular here when I was here, living here. I haven't seen one in Toronto though. Maybe there is, I just uh, haven't been looking. And we are starting to walk out of the valley again. We have a shoppers just across there. Cineplex. Theater in the area. On the other side, this used to be a mall when I lived here. It uh, looks like it's been broken up into uh, just a few buildings. Grocery store, Dollarama, Tim Hortons. Alright, so before anyone comments, we're not trying to jaywalk. There's just no button to cross that crosswalk. There's only one button, we pressed it, but uh, didn't work. So yeah, just there is uh, Shoppers Drug Mart. Very active little town. Up here you might get a better view of the uh, mill. So 
just off in the distance there might be able to see all the wood stacked up and then the mill and this is a view from the other side of the downtown core we'll continue to walk up this way a little bit longer though Yeah, that's a better view there. Just off in the distance is another little hill. I believe there's a hiking path going up there as well. It's been a long time since I lived in this town. And you have the Salvation Army Social Services Center and thrift store. Just in here. This is the uh, Joseph R. Smallwood government building. Sign right there. And then a little, little lounge, uh, castaway lounge. I don't know if it's a pub or a uh, or a club might be both shops over there We have a subway. We have some more shops. I believe there's some shops down this road. So we'll take a right. 19, 1953. That building was made.
pet supplies. Yeah, a few shops, but not much. I believe we're out of the uh, the Nikon store. Oh, audio video center. Might have to go in and check that place out. See what kind of camera gear they have. We have a jewelry store. We have a bar and billiards. Tattoo place, this is like the third tattoo place I've seen. <laughs> Tattoos must be a big thing here. And this store, National National Shoe. I actually worked at this location before for a short term. And I think this is the end of the road here. Looks like a music store. Yeah, a music store. Get instruments and stuff if you're into music. All right. So I think I'm gonna end the video here. Uh, it's a short walk through downtown. Again, not a very big town. Uh, well, big town, not a very big, or big city, small cities, big town, something like that. You guys know what I mean. But that's a walk through the downtown core. As always, thank you for joining me. Oh, and we also showed you the hotel as well. So if you liked it, hit that like button. If you didn't like it, hit the like button anyway. It helps out. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell to get notified. I do upload twice a week, Saturdays and either Tuesdays or Wednesdays, depending. And you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter under the same name, Timothy Roy Walks. I'll see you guys on our next walk.